the dark side of highly vibrational empaths. High vibrational empaths operate from a different frequency than the average person, which can make them very attractive to some people. While it may also be very triggering and disrupting to others, especially for those who have a lot of unresolved issues. People who have not done any personal work and thus have not found their own personal purpose or any meaning to their lives. For those types of people, a high vibrational empath is going to be a problem, especially an empath who is empowered, stronger and confident in controlling their life and claiming their rights. And if that's you, no matter how helpful or kind you may be, it will always cause problems to narcissists or toxic people. Because you are a mirror that triggers and reflects back to people their unresolved issues and the parts of themselves that they refuse to own, acknowledge or accept, such as their emotional wounds and trauma, as well as their unprocessed guilt, fear, shame, insecurity and feelings of inadequacy. And people who are narcissistic will be especially sensitive to this because you can so effortlessly become aware of other people's energy and emotional states, as well as their true intentions, hidden judgments, attitudes and behaviours. You may even take on those traits and project them back to their rightful owner, because you have the ability to unconsciously project emotions or traits that do not belong to you. And a person's hidden or surprised fear, guilt, shame, anger, envy or jealousy insecurity, feelings of inadequacy or inferiority built an emotional and energetic intensity the longer that it is left covered up or oppressed beneath the surface of a person's conscious awareness. So if a person has traits or emotions that they do not like about themselves, they will be triggered and reminded of those traits just by being in your presence. Which is why some people may instantly dislike and show opposition towards you especially people who are unconscious and comfortable with fake positivity and people who are in environments that are actually very toxic and dysfunctional and yet they may not even be aware of it because they're in denial. But when they come into contact with your light and love, it disrupts the present situation and condition because they are less conscious and aware and this happens even if you don't say anything. Because you are unknowingly reflecting back to people the truth that they are not willing or able to accept about themselves. So instead they hide from it or they deny it while projecting it onto you. Because you are at a much higher frequency than they are. And they cannot project their energy or traits onto someone who is already at the same frequency. So in any situation, you're going to be the one who they single out for mistreatment, even though you're not deliberately causing trouble. But your energy and frequency can cause a lot of trouble, especially with people who are toxic and low vibrational and those who are in denial, because your energy frequency reminds people of who they are, which is very triggering for people who are insecure. And they may not even know why. But what they will know is that they can't stand you. When really, it's not so much that they can't stand you as a person. It's more that they can't stand what you are reflecting back to them. So essentially, they cannot stand themselves. They are terrified of being exposed and of having to deal with their shame. So they act arrogant and prideful. But that only prevents them from having to face themselves and from being authentic. It prevents them from growing and evolving. Because they disown their negative parts and assign them to you. The more empowered you are, the more it will trigger them. And the more they will project onto you. But as an empowered empath, you're unlikely to tolerate their nonsense. Whether it may be manipulation, lies, gaslighting or deception. You may give them the benefit of the doubt initially, 
but as soon as they reveal that they are manipulative, self-absorbed, jealous, resentful, inconsiderate or disrespectful, you're not going to tolerate them. You do not want to deal with any unnecessary pain, drama, trauma or chaos. You haven't got the time to waste on emotional toddlers in adult bodies, who are pretending to be adults, or doing all kinds of damage, and leaving people in pain. While pretending as though they don't know what all of the worry and concern is about. As though God is anxious about unimportant matters. Because they feel entitled to harm you. And they will even blame you for the suffering and distress that they caused to you. Which is why they're just a waste of your time. Because you would be better off if they didn't even exist. And it's why you may treat them like they don't exist. But out of genuine and authentic love rather than hate. Because their presence is to your detriment. And you have confidence in your worth, abilities and morals. So you will not just come to a motionless stop, cease making progress, or remain engaged with a toxic manipulative person who lacks empathy for you. And instead you will cut them off without an explanation. If they give you a good reason to do so. Now they may try to hoover you, but they will just be wasting their own time and energy because you see their true intentions and motives. And you are not willing to deal with anyone who is not sincere or genuine. You may see the good in people, even if it's not there, but you won't let them fool you for long. Because you have the ability to accurately assess people and situations. You can wisely recognize, understand and decide how things are. And once you're onto them, you will cut them off. And you won't ever take them back. Because you recognize that they're dishonest, deceitful and deceptive. And you're not interested in their weak, cowardly and spiritless attempts to justify and rationalize their bad behavior. You see them. You have knowledge about them. You are aware of their actions, behaviors and attentions. They've shown you who they truly are, and now you believe them. So they're no longer able to lie or to manipulate you. Just because you're not calling them out or engaging with them about it, it doesn't mean you're not aware. You are highly intuitive and instinctive. So you're aware of even their most indirect methods to achieve something, because you feel everything deeply. And yet you also possess emotional strength. You love and respect yourself because you've done the inner work. You focus on your personal growth and spiritual development. So you're no longer weighed down by your childhood trauma. You have developed a strong core identity. You know who you are and you know who you're not. So you do not need their validation or approval because you know and trust yourself. You don't lie to yourself. So you do not need to lie to, for or about other people. Because you've already experienced dangers and difficulties. And you've emerged stronger and wiser. You are honest, direct, straightforward and outspoken. Which of course presents a problem to people who are comfortable with their denial. While they choose to manipulate and deceive people because they thrive in dysfunctional environments. But if they targeted you, they definitely targeted the wrong person because an empowered empath is not easy to manipulate, which is the primary reason why they're so troublesome in dysfunctional family dynamics and for toxic people in general. Because they see through people, they recognize what they're dealing with. So as an empowered empath, people cannot hide their envy and hostility from you. You will notice their passive aggression, no matter how subtle or indirect it may be. So all they're really succeeding in doing is exposing themselves for who they truly are. Because as an empowered empath, you become aware of dishonesty, insincerity and manipulation very quickly. And it does not frighten you very easily. So if they're trying to intimidate you, they are wasting their time. 
but you're not looking for confrontation. You're not going out of your way to create conflict for no reason. But you also won't avoid having to deal with it. If someone is trying to manipulate you, lie to you or bully you, which will make them feel very uncomfortable, you will outperform them and they know it. They can sense your energy and frequency. If you are vibrating at the frequency of love, it is very disrupting and disturbing for people who have something to hide or for people who haven't done something that they should have done. Empowered empaths are kind, loving and forgiving, but not to the point where it will harm them or put them at a disadvantage because they are not going to be someone's doormat or pushover. They will take care of themselves first before they try to take care of anyone else and they will not sell their soul for anyone because they will not let anyone have power over them they will maintain their personal power they may be highly sensitive and empathic but they are actually stronger than most people can imagine because they've already experienced many dangers and difficulties they have already removed that which is not consistent with the spirit and they have emerged better and stronger. As an empowered empath, you are insensitive to insults or criticism and you know how to be unaffected by the chaos and drama provoked by toxic, insecure people who lack empathy and like to cause trouble because you know who you are so if someone cannot see your value or worth or if they feel threatened by your growth, power or strength it's not going to be a problem for you because you know very well that it is that person's loss and not yours an empowered empath does not need anyone to serve them and they do not need to serve anyone they are independent which means that as an empowered empath, you can value and appreciate relationships where you may have a sense of dependency between another person and yourself in a healthy way. With other people who are equally as kind, loving and empathic. Because as an empowered empath, you know your value and worth. So if you encounter someone who is unable to see it, you will walk away. And they will be making a mistake by underestimating your intelligence and intuition. Or by thinking that they've gotten away with something you're unaware of. But unlike them, you are not driven by fear, ego or insecurity. You're grounded in yourself. You're calm, peaceful and aware. Which is why you're not interested in fake disingenuous people. And you will not enable their nonsense or support them in their denial. Because you can't tolerate dishonesty, lies, lies by omission, or using the truth out of context. You tell yourself and other people the honest truth, no matter how uncomfortable, inconvenient or unpopular it may be. Because unlike most people, you have the courage to live a life that is fully aligned with the truth. Which is why you cannot tolerate anyone who is lying to you or about you, or anyone who is trying to gaslight you. You are modest and you do not have anything to hide or prove. So when a narcissist is thinking they got one over on you, they are wrong. And that is something they will soon discover because you cannot tolerate hypocrites, fakes, lies or manipulators, which is why your genuine and authentic nature will be seen as a problem. Because these people are going to have their way with you. And instead your light disrupts and disturbs them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. 
hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you could book a one on one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon